Greetings, YouTube. You know I keep track of everything um, in terms of purchases in this game, and I was asked, Prof, do you think there's going to be two early access bundles this month, unlike last month where we only had one? And I said, well, given the nature of the patterns of the last couple months, Kabam will either put the first early access bundle on Wednesday when new content comes out, which was yesterday, or today, maybe, or we'll have another month where we just have one. Well, our answer was uh, made today, which is funny because there was no way for me to really know how many new messages until I clicked were there because check out my message. Yes, I still have the 6,027 uh, bug, very similar to how many extra items I have in my overflow of my inventory, which is 6,021 on the far right, though I think you can barely see that. So that's the first bug that's still on my channel. And then the second bug, which some of you have asked me to update you on and I wasn't going to make a separate video on, I can now look at tier three of Odin's Gauntlet, and that's it. So, still waiting to go to tier six before I can use any of my feathers. And yes, I am just as frustrated as you are, but it's better to wait than to jump into tier two or tier three and not maximize the amount of side quest um, compensation or side quest currency, I should say, that I'm going to get for waiting for the most difficult tier to finally pop up. Hopefully it will be by the end of the day. I was under the impression that it would already be there. And yet it's not. Okay, the strength of Billion's Crystal. Just as a reminder, this is for the Mangog, right? Yeah. Which means Odin will indeed be the last and highest hyped featured champion of the month of March. Now, y'all, it has been a hot minute since I, I pulled the five-star from these. The last ten I opened, all courtesy of the sponsorship of Mama Bear. Last ten I opened, I got eight three-stars and two four-stars. And, of course, no Nexus crystals either. Look at that beautiful six-star Nexus that's just chilling in the reel. Wouldn't that be amazing to get? I sure think so. By the way, happy season finale of WandaVision Eve, which is... Um, Pretty soon to only be about 12 hours from when it drops on Disney+. Plus. All right, first one. Can we get a five or six star? And there's a six star storm that trolls, of course, to a three star Mr. Fantastic. I was hoping, even though I, I knew it was just a visual glitch, that all those six star Nexus in here meant that there would be a six star Nexus in uh, the opening because I've never seen it, never landed on it. Some of you have very much been happy to show me your six star nexus and i'm very happy for you the only six star nexus i've been guaranteed of course is the one that i got for fully exploring 7-1 and it was maybe the worst nexus of all time for as great as my six star basic luck has been my six star nexus luck has been beyond trash all right well let's see if we can get a five or six star here remember i think even if it's a five star iron package if you're going to grade yourself on at least a C- minus scale, you need a minimum of one five-star per $50 purchase. Just think about this compared to the incredible $5 deals last week of the Romance Crystals and how you could get... I got three five-stars in one day for five bucks compared to zero five-stars for 50 bucks. It's just a joke of value. What up, Venom? And there we go. The curse has been lifted. We got our first five-star in a week and a half. And that is the Book of Luke trapped in a cage. I wish I could awaken my six star, but beggars can't be choosers. And that is certainly a sight for sore eyes, given the nature of the past week and a half worth of luck. Okay, so we've turned things around. We have opened, I think, twice with these new crystals, a five star nexus. I would also, I will take any nexus, because of course, five star nexus could be the dad bot himself, Mr. Red Guardian, who I'm still hunting for. All right, we've got three more shots at the new six-star Mangog. And, man, his avatar looks super scary and sketchy, which for some reason I just, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Can we go back-to-back -back five stars? Haven't done that in these crystals in over a year, I want to say. We did do that in the romance crystals, but not in the just straight-up featured calves that aren't special side quest featured calves. Crystal is slowing down, or it should be slowing down. There we go. What's up, Dr. Doom, Dr. Strange? A lot of doctors in the house. Venom. And we got the three-star sub-featured, which, of course, is um, 
well, not going to do anything. Probably not even going to be in the arena. I mean, I guess we'll take it. I don't know how much the hype is with Super Scroll. I just, I just don't. I do not know where the hype is with him. I'm sure he's got some decent utility, but seems like another middle tier dud that you're going to forget's even in the game. Maybe you've already forgot he's in the game. I kind of forgot he's in the game. All right, Mangog, show us yourself, Mr. Mangog. Show us that Mangog outer shell. Come on. We got five shots at the six star. We need ourselves some Mangog luck. We're going to tap the crystal now and see if that potentially gives us some Mangog luck. Bunch of six stars in the reel that mean absolutely nothing. And hey, yes! It happened again! Tappity tap tap for that five star Nexus. Now here's the deal. I'll be doing an Across the Pond stream here in less than two hours. We will open the five star Nexus in the Across the Pond stream live on YouTube. So if you're watching this, stay tuned. Hopefully notifications actually work. Okay. You know, I always say if Kabam charged 50 bucks for a five star Nexus, I think they'd sell a lot of them. And so suddenly getting a five-star Luke Cage and a five-star Nexus plus the thousand six-star shards and the 30% greater champion boosts, and then the other champions, which have you know largely been well, actually they've all been three stars. We've got two three stars and two five stars counting the Nexus. So this will break the tie. Uh, but yeah, for 50 bucks, I would totally buy that deal. So this is at least a B value in my book. Alright, let's tap this and see if we can get an A value off the last crystal. There's another, there's the six-star Mangog. And, well, we got our first four-star. Would have been interesting to awaken our six-star jugs out of that. But, uh, hey, there you go. Opening up the five-star Nexus here in T-minus like an hour and a half. Stay tuned for that. Let's throw this on YouTube. Shout out to my brother Prof Box and his lovely daughter Prof Todd, who, you know, normally we would do the uh, Team Pop method on the last one, but when you get a five-star Nexus on the second-to-last crystal, you can't, you can't deviate from what's working. He knows more than anybody the, the truth behind that statement. So there you have it, YouTube. Happy Thursday. Thanks for watching.